Take it. Is he dead, bro? He's dead. Is there a chance he could kill our fish? Yeah. Hey, VZ fam! Guys, it is winter in Florida. It's cold outside. It's only like 70, but for us, it's freezing. I got my sweater on. He's got his sweater. What's that? Sriracha. I put that on everything. Sriracha. I put that on everything. Sriracha. I put that on everything. He puts that on everything. When it's cold outside, we put on hoodies, and it's an amazing time to fish. We got to get some shiners. We got, we got a lot of things going on. Just stick with us. You. You're the one. I think that's like a Muscovy mix that we hatched. Um, guys, if this video gets 1,000 likes, we'll take that guy right here and we'll put him in the house and we'll pamper him for 24 hours. We'll bathe him, we'll, we'll hang out with him, we'll feed him. If this video gets 1,000 likes, you're coming in. We didn't even have a name for that guy. We need to get a name for him too. 1,000 likes. Huge shout out to one of our subscribers named William. We got a picture. It looks like a goose. This is amazing. Sent us this and we looked at it and then we read the back and he was basically saying thanks. We helped him get through some tough times and William, you are the man. And because this is our first piece of fan art, where should we put it? On the fridge. All right, our first piece of fan art goes right there right on our fridge. So guys, we have a PO box which is listed below. You wanna get shouted out and you wanna get your fan art put on film, just send it to us. But this first piece, William, is going right here. We're gonna drive to our favorite bait store. We're gonna give our tilapia in our pond a little break from getting caught. Plus, I think Anthony bit a hole in the casting net and I have to get another one in it. So we're gonna get some shiners and we're gonna go That's a lot. You ready now? Yeah. What else we need? Nothing. We're good? Yeah. Let's get it. This is our spot, our hidden secret honey hole. Don't tell nobody. Hi. Right. There's cars around. But anyway, look at this spot. You see that moving water right there? That's where the fish are. Look at this. And then we got a bridge. You might remember this location from the time that we had this video where we put that car in here and we made a fish trap out of a car. We were the first people in the world to use a car as a fish trap. We're doing big things here. First, we gotta get some water in a bucket in case we catch a monster. Yeah. So I need you to go, I guess, down there. Yeah. Fill it with water and then bring it back to the back of the truck. We're usually horrible fishermen, me and this guy. Anglers, we, we're horrible. And we're waiting for Joey Slam or Monster Mike to let us hang out, teach us how to fish. But today that all changes. Yeah, go. No Bass Pro Shop hats. We're gonna catch something. Go ahead, buddy, hurry up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, real athletic. Oh, oh, oh. Get it, go, go. Wait, you don't got the bucket. Dad, bring the bucket! Why? There's a black -o. On the ground, he's probably dead, bro. He's not dead! What? Black -o. Is he dead, bro? Ooh. He's dead. Let me see him, let me see him. He's bleeding. Oh. What? Look. Look. He's moving. How the heck did he get up here? Oh. If you saved him and he's still alive, huh? we're gonna take him home and put him in the koi pond. Okay. How did you catch a fish without even going over there yet? I don't know. I'm so confused, but anyway, if that plug goes alive when we get home, we're gonna put him in the koi pond. And we're gonna clean him up though, he's bleeding. Let's um, give him like mouth to mouth. It started raining way too hard over here, and I'm having a really good hair day, so we're gonna go somewhere else. Tony assured me that that pleco is alive. He's out there giving him mouth to mouth or something right now. So before we go to the next spot, we're gonna stop back at the house. We're gonna see if we can clean him off the blood, and we're gonna put him in a koi pond and see what happens. Is that a bad idea? Like, can he, if he has something, can he get the rest of my fish sick? I don't even know. I don't dumpster dive, okay? It's just like sometimes I find things. Anyway, look what we found, guys. This was on the side of the road. And all I gotta do is just sand it down and power wash it and maybe me and you can repaint it. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you guys think we should put in here? 
I mean, it looks like it's for like birds, like cockatoos or parrots or something that can go on top too. I We're gonna put something in here. Comment down below what you think we should put in here. Do you guys like birds? We don't have any birds yet. I'm down to get birds. You down to get birds? Yeah. What do birds say? Birds say hello. So we're gonna get some birds that say hello. A little DIY projects. Hey, you guys are ready for that? And you guys wanna see some up and coming things that we got? Make sure you guys are subscribed because we just drop things randomly. It's no consistency. I know they say YouTube, be consistent, be consistent, be consistent. We're not consistent. We try to do twice a week, all different days. You have to have your post notifications on and be subscribed so you know when we drop things. So go ahead, help us out, subscribe. Subscribe. You can feed a hungry kid if you subscribe. He's very hungry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're back home with the Pleco. Yeah. I'm gonna put him in here. We're gonna see if he lives. Ryan, I know you're behind the camera. Yeah. If we put this Pleco in here and he's got like, I don't know, the fish flu, will he kill all of our koi? Uh, maybe. I don't want him to get my fish sick, dude. What do you think? I'm gonna look it up. If I find something that says he can get the rest of the fish sick, I'll go put him in the big pond. But I don't want to get them fish sick either. Well, we saved them. I don't know what to do. We're not anglers, guys. What's up, what's up? What's happening? Listen, I got you on video. I had to ask you a question. Hey guys, you guys know Joey Slam, the man, the myth, the legend? Here he is. Looking great, bro. Listen, we caught a pleco, like, okay. I don't know, like a seven inch pleco that was dying on the side of the road. Huh? Next, yeah, okay. bro, craziness. But if we put him in our koi pond, is there a chance he could kill our fish? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, because you know, if he was dying and you don't know what he was dying from and he's carrying any sort of diseases, that can automatically pass through your koi and then you might have a total loss and that's not worth it. If you have a quarantine tank, then I recommend you do it. If you really like the Pleco that bad. Do you like the Pleco? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, we gotta like keep the Pleco, him. Then if you wanna go ahead and make the koi happen, make sure you go ahead and put that in a separate quarantine tank and just monitor it and see what's going on with the Pleco. Hey, so Joe, while you're on camera, when are we linking up, bro? Bro, we gotta make some time. I gotta make some time. I gotta, I can even show you like a little bit of what's going on over here. Show us, gotta, show, show the VZ fam. Gotta, oh my goodness. I gotta, I gotta change all this. Holy Avi tubing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these were all the birds and the babies I was raising up. And then I had my chameleons. Uh, I pretty much downsized on everything. So I gotta move all this type of stuff. Oh like, my I goodness. I can show you right now my snapping turtles right here. Oh. Yeah, I have, to, I have to do a whole bunch of stuff. It's, it's crazy. So once this is all situated, you best believe you guys got to come over here. All right, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, man. Anytime. Call. Anytime. Brother. Thank you, bro. Yep. All right. So we're going to put him in this bucket for right now. And we're going to put an air, a bunch of aerators in here. We're going to do water changes like every day. I mean, it's not hard. We got hoses. So let's get the hose. Anthony, turn the hose on. So we're going to fill this up with this water. And guys, just so you know, the water that comes out of this hose is like pure well water and there's no chlorine in it, there's nothing in it. It's, it's beautiful, I love well water. So what I want you to do, Anthony, is I want you to put him in there and I want you to put some aerators in there, the one that you have. Of course you can do that. What are you doing, bro? That's like one pound. I can do that with one pinky. No, you can. I can, watch. Ready? <laughs> what are we doing, dude? Come on. All right, get the aerator and get your fish. Put your fish in. And then go turn that off. All right, guys, listen. We've never claimed to be anglers or really know anything about anything. So everything that we learn about fish and fishing and anything fish related, we call people, call Paul, call Joey Slam, Monster Mike, people like that. They're the ones who teach us about it. So thank you. Gosh, that we didn't put him in there because I guess it could have went bad. And I get, I bet you guys were literally sitting behind your phones, your computer, like, no, don't put him in there. He's gonna kill all your fish. I thought, like, I heard it through the thing, and that's why I called Joe. We're gonna keep him in here as like a little quarantine for a few days, and we're gonna give him some air, maybe put a little filter, do a water change every day, and just watch him and keep track of him. If he's good within a week, we're gonna go seven days. So in seven days, if this guy is good, you guys can name him anyway, even if he doesn't make it or pass it. Seven days, if he makes it, we're gonna put him in the koi pond. So make sure you guys drop a name. Look, he's moving around. He's blowing bubbles. This video really took a whole nother turn because instead of just us going out fishing in nice cold weather, we ended up rescuing 
and it turned into another rescue video. It's another rescue video, guys. Yeah! All right, so let's continue this fishing journey. Yeah. Guys, we're literally on the side of our house, and I didn't know this, but Paul just explained to me, half of this canal up to the halfway part is ours. We own it. Anthony, jump out into the middle so we can show them where the middle is. No. Why? No. Come here. Just come here. Just. C I've been seeing some stuff, and after Ian, there's some crazy things in here. And I know you guys saw Paul on uh, one video. He released that alligator in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. If we catch some, we catch some. If not, we still made this a rescue video with that pleco. The bass. Guys, I got something. Look, look over there, Tone. Look. It's small. What is that? It's a bass. Nice. Hey, buddy. Got a little bass. Some for the pond. Yeah. All right, Tony, turn off the camera, jump the fence. We're going over there to put him in the pond. I'm just going to get one. Yeah, he's one. He's free. We rescued a pleco today, so that was pretty awesome. But um, we got time for one more thing. Um, Brain gang, brain gang, brain gang, brain gang. Guys, you know what time it is. It's the brain game. We're going to ask you how many? Three. Three questions. You're going to answer below in the comments. If you're correct, you could get shouted out on one of our next videos. Shout, Shout out, out to, to Kaylee, Kaylee Castillo, Castillo, who got all the answers correct on the last brain game. Bing! Question one. Who did I FaceTime on the phone that gave us a lot of good advice today? Question two. What color was the bucket that we put the pleco in? Question three. Where did we put the picture that our amazing viewer drew for us? Where did we hang it up? Thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video. And if you're not subscribed, you know, hook us up. Subscribe, subscribe so you can catch our videos, all right? Yeah. Peace.